Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. Today, are you buying a 2024 C8 Corvette? Do you need a budget build or would you like to see the must-haves for 2024 Stingrays, Z06s, and E-Rays? So today I wanted to make this video because I always make one of these every single year with the brand new version of the Stingray and now Z06 and now we're going to be making something about the E-Ray as well. There's a lot of new features on all of the cars, but the most important thing is the pricing has gone up a lot since the 2020. And as you know, if you've seen any of my past videos, there's about a $10,000 difference from the 2020 Stingray to the now 2024 Stingray. We also have the Z06 to look at and we have the E-Ray to look at. So what I wanted to do is put together a video where I show you budget builds on all three and then show you builds that are more consistent with what most people would probably do and show you what I believe the must-haves are for each the Stingray Z06 and E-Ray. So let's go ahead and get started with a 2024 Stingray build and we'll move along from there. All right, so I wanted to start with the 1LT Coupe, which as you can see is 69,995. And we know that the 2020 1LT Coupe was 59,995. So it's exactly $10,000 difference. And we'll go ahead and keep Arctic white. It doesn't really matter which color, except for if you go with one of these colors that cost money, then obviously you're not doing a budget build. And that's exactly what we're trying to do here. So we're gonna just leave it Arctic white. So as you can see, it's a 1LT and it is a coupe. Now, stripes, graphics, any of that stuff is gonna cost you money, so we're gonna skip that. But I am still gonna spend a little bit of money on wheels. As you guys know, I really like the 20 spoke wheels. And for only $1,000, you can get beautiful black wheels in the 20 spoke, and I think it's totally worth it. Now, depending on what color car you go with, you can choose whether or not the black brake calipers are gonna work for you. But in this case, I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch them to the bright red calipers because that's what I think is gonna go really well with the rest of the car that I built for you guys. Let's move along to the interior. Now let's go ahead and go with the adrenaline red. I'm gonna go with that for two reasons. Number one, with black, you don't get any other types of accents in here to kind of break up the color. And with the adrenaline red, you do get the red seats, but you also get the red stitching, even though it's a 1LT. And you get the red stripe in the center of that steering wheel, which I think is really, really nice. Now, because you have a red seat, I would definitely not recommend going with a red seat belt. And I don't think that any of these other belts are gonna match. So I'm just gonna leave the seatbelt black. Now I'm not gonna recommend any of these packages because of the fact that we're trying to stay on a budget. And there's a few more things that I'd like to get on this car that I think you guys are really gonna appreciate and love. So let's go ahead and go to the interior here. There's not really anything that I think needs to be done here. So let's go back to exterior and we're gonna scroll down to the carbon flash outside mirrors and spoiler and click on that. We're also gonna get the low profile spoiler and front splitter. Since we're not going with Z51, we might as well make it look really, really nice with that Z51 front splitter and then the low profile spoiler. Also, they've made it available now for you to go ahead and get engine lighting for only $100. I think that's worth it. And then last but not least, you guys know I love the dark stealth cross flags emblem, so I'm gonna spend 125 on that. And let's go ahead and get to the mechanical options, which you know I'm going to spend the $1,195 for the performance exhaust and then the $3,95 for the black tip exhaust pipes. But that's it. We're not gonna get magnetic ride control and we're not getting anything else here. So we're gonna end up with a total price of $74,290 for an absolutely stunning build, as you can see, 
This car is freaking gorgeous inside and out. All right, so that's gonna do it for the 2024 Stingray budget build. Like I said, 74,290, that's not too bad. You've only spent about $4,295 on your build from the start of being right at 70,000 bucks. All right, moving right along, as you can see, we've got a Coupe 1LZ on the E-Ray. And we're gonna go ahead and we'll change the color on this one. Let's go with Silver Flare Metallic. That's a really beautiful color. You guys know I love that. We're not gonna spend any money on graphics or stripes. This one actually you can spend $500 less on the wheels and get some really pretty gloss black five spoke wheels. So we'll go ahead and do that on the E-Ray. And then the brake calipers, I am gonna go ahead and go with the bright red again. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pick the same interior because red and that silver look really good together, but we're not gonna get a seatbelt color yet again. Now, the reason why I'm gonna recommend the Zur package is because of the fact that you're getting about a $2,500 tire for 500 bucks. So there's no reason not to go ahead and click that. If you decide that you don't wanna drive this in the cooler weather with those tires, go spend you know uh, probably close to 2,000 on the all weather season tires you know, you'll be able to drive a little safer in that type of weather. But I like the fact that I'm gonna get $2,500 really nice tires for 500 bucks. Now again, same with the interior. I'm not doing anything on this at all. We're gonna go to the exterior options. We're gonna go ahead and do the carbon flash exterior accents because they are free. Then we're gonna do the 195 painted mirrors and spoiler. We're gonna spend $125 on the dark stealth flag. And for some reason, I don't see the engine lights on the E-Ray, so maybe those are not available. But we're gonna go ahead and go to mechanical options and click the black tip exhaust. And as you guys know, the E-Ray already comes with magnetic ride control. So that is a huge deal. And as you see, it automatically comes with the carbon ceramic brakes. And this, in my opinion, is a absolute fantastic and gorgeous build for $109,000. I've only spent about $2,400 on this E-Ray. That is a budget build, $109,000 with it starting at $106,595. That is fantastic. You get a beautiful interior, you get a beautiful exterior, beautiful wheels, beautiful calipers and this car is going to be a ridiculously quick and fast car. So there is the budget build on the E-Ray. Let's go ahead and move on to the Z06. All right, here we are with a Coupe Z06 and the starting price is 114,395. Let's see how low we can keep that. As you see, we've got a 1LZ. And this one, I'm gonna go ahead and go with Ceramic Matrix Gray. You guys know I absolutely love that color. So no stripes, no graphics. Wheels, I'm gonna go ahead and spend $500 again on the beautiful satin graphite forged aluminum wheels. Look how beautiful those look. And we're gonna go ahead and get the bright red calipers yet again. Interior, I'm gonna go with the same exact adrenaline red because again, you get a bang for your buck. You're getting the center red stripe. It's the only one out of these uh, interiors that gives you the center stripe on the steering wheel and the red stitching all over the car. So you're kind of getting a 3LT look or 3LZ look with a 1LZ type interior. We're not gonna pick any of the packages here. Let's just go ahead and go to the exterior and we're gonna go ahead and get the carbon flash painted outside mirrors and spoiler. Now, of course, if you don't like that, you don't have to pick any of this and you'll save 200 bucks. 
This one actually comes with the engine lighting, so we're gonna go ahead and click that. Now this one cost an extra $100 for the dark stealth cross flags. I'm gonna go ahead and pay for it and put that on the Z06 as well. And last but not least, we're gonna spend $400 on black tip exhaust. Now, same with this one, automatically comes with magnetic right control. Now you don't get the carbon ceramic brakes, but you do get the gigantic calipers. And as you will see here, this build is fantastically beautiful inside and out. And check this out, I barely went up over a thousand dollars on this build and you're getting all of this for 116,500. So I think you would agree that this is a really nice budget build for a Z06. And keep in mind, you can switch up whatever you want on this, maybe spend a, another two or $3,000 and make it even nicer than I've made it. So those are the three budget builds. Now let's jump into the must have builds for all three Stingray, E-Ray and Z06. Also, real quick, keep in mind that you guys can make these convertibles as well. If you're wanting to spend and willing to spend another $7,500 on these builds, make them a convertible. It's still a very nice budget build. And same with this must-have build. It's still going to be a very affordable, very nice build as a coupe, but also affordable if you want to justify spending an extra $7,500. All right, so here we go. We've got a coupe and this time I'm going to go with the 2LT because you get so many options with the 2LT. It just makes good sense to go ahead and click that. It is the sweet spot in my opinion and allows you to do so much with the interior of this car. Now everybody loves torch red, so we'll go ahead and keep this one torch red. But again, no graphics, no stripes, nothing like that. Wheels, I'm gonna go ahead and spend $1,000 again on the black 20 spoke. And as far as the calipers, I'm gonna go ahead and spend $700 on yellow calipers. As far as the interior goes, we're gonna go with the Sky Cool Gray. We're gonna get the GT2 seats, spend $1,700 on those. And the reason why I really love the GT2 seats is it puts an extra nice amenity in there with the carbon fiber that you get. You can't beat the way these look with that carbon fiber in the middle. Plus, I'm gonna go ahead and get a yellow seat belt and we're gonna move to packages and we're not gonna get a single package on this Stingray. The interior though, we are gonna go ahead and select the stealth trim and the two-tone seats. And you guys will see how beautiful this looks when I get back to the interior. Exterior, you know, I'm always gonna get that low profile spoiler and the carbon flash mirrors and rear spoiler. We'll go ahead and pay for the engine lighting and the dark stealth flags. And then last but not least, mechanical options. We're gonna spend a little bit more money here. We're gonna get the performance exhaust, the black tips, and we're gonna get the front lift. So the reason why I recommend going with the front lift is because of the fact that if you can purchase it, which you cannot on a 1LT, but you can on a 2LT, I highly recommend it. It has saved my front end multiple times, both on my 2020 and my 2023. So just get it you'll understand once you have it. But check this out. The car starts at 70K. I spent $17,365 and have an absolute beautiful and fantastic exterior and interior build. This car will suit you perfectly and it's under $90,000. This is a must-have C8 Stingray build. Now let's move along to the must-have E-Ray build. All right, here we go, starting at 106,595. We're gonna go ahead and move to a 2LZ. This one I'm gonna get cacti green just for the fun of it. No stripes, no graphics. Wheels, we'll go ahead and get the black gloss 495 wheels. Brake calipers, I'm gonna leave them gray. 
Interior, I'm gonna go back with the Sky Cool Gray GT2 bucket seats. And we're not gonna pick a different color seat belt at all. Now, again, I'm gonna go with the Zerve package. You know why? Interior options, two-tone seats, and stealth. Exterior options, we're gonna go with the Carbon Flash painted mirrors and spoiler, and also the Carbon Flash exterior accents, and the dark stealth cross flags. And we're gonna go with the black tip exhaust for 400 and the front lift as well. So check it out. For about $13,000 with the E-Ray, 119, 285, you are getting all the must-haves. And this thing is gonna feel loaded while you're driving it, looking at it, and absolutely falling in love with your new 2LZ E-Ray. Let's move along to the must-have Z06. All right, so as you can see, this starts off at 114, 395. We're gonna go with 2LZ, which has put it up to 123, 295. And this one, I'm gonna pick Carbon Flash Metallic. No stripes or graphics. This one, I'm gonna go with the same 495, satin graphite forged aluminum wheels. And we're gonna go with the bright painted red calibers. Interior, I'm gonna go with Adrenaline Red, GT2 seats, and I'm gonna go with a torch red seat belt. No packages. Interior options, we're gonna go with the two-tone and the stealth interior. Exterior, so because I went with carbon flash, you don't have to do the carbon flash painted outside mirrors or spoilers, so that saves 195 bucks. And there's only one more thing I need to get and that's the engine lighting. And we'll go ahead and go to mechanical options and we'll go ahead and do the black tip exhaust and the front lift with memory. Check this out. You have an absolute beautiful carbon flash metallic Z06 with the beautiful satin wheels, the red calipers, the red and black interior. For $131,000, that's about a $16,000 difference. To me, this is a must-have build for your 2024 C8 Z06. So that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this. I really hope this helps you better figure out a build for yourself when you go to order your 2024 Stingray, E-Ray, or Z06. If this helped, please do me a big favor, smash that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below. If you have enjoyed the wonderful Brink of Speed community, please consider doing so by smashing that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. I hope each and every one of you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and we'll see you guys out on the road.